Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter and in today's video I'd just like to give you guys an update on the uh, temporary computer I'm using here. Uh, if you remember in the last video I told you guys I was going to reorganize a few things and do some cable management. Well, I have completed that and just want to show you guys what the results were. Uh, here in front, you can see that's where I got my Antec drive bay. And then I moved the, uh, I got an Antec Tri-Cool 120mm fan mounted in the front. And unfortunately, as you can see, the fan controller that I took out, the 3.5-inch uh, fan controller would not fit. Those little tabs right there wouldn't allow it to go in. <clears throat> so I removed it anyway, just for the sake of not having all the cables in the way. And what I did was I mounted it here. I really don't switch the fan speeds around that often so just decided I'd mount it right there and it seems to be doing pretty good. Also have the speed controller for the front Antec Tri-Cool fan just sitting right there as you can see. And then I am still using the big fan here on the side so I got the uh, three pin adapter sitting right there which I took the fan out just so you guys could see everything. This is basically the overview of the cable management. It came out alright. It spent about an hour or so reorganizing everything. Got my Silverstone fan in the back there. My Lee and Lee fan here on the top. And I got my three hard drives, a Western Digital 250 for the operating system, and then my two Western Digital 1 terabyte Caviar Black hard drives for storage. Got our optical drive there on top. Did the best for cable management. This case is not designed for cable management whatsoever. But being that this power supply doesn't have too many cables, as you can see, came out pretty nice. Ran my four pin around there. Ran my uh, rear case fan lead up around there. Got my SATA cables that are tucked back around there. There's my 24 pin and my CPU header fan goes down around here and if you're wondering why I'm running that on the bottom it's because for some reason this header up here will only run the fan at like 800 rpm no matter what I set the uh, they call it the smart uh, smart tiger fan or something like that it's something really ridiculous that they call it but yeah basically it won't run it at max speed or any other speed besides 800 so I just ran it down to here and now it runs at the uh, was it 1800 RPM? I think it runs at, but it's really not that loud. You can hear. I got most of the fans set at 12 volts. Uh, I got this one running medium, and then this one on the top one are running at 12 volts. And then I got the uh, front Zigmatech fan there on the hard drive cage that's running at probably, I don't know, half speed. So everything's about the same. Just want to give you guys an update. There's my little wireless card there. And I did receive my HRO2, or HRO5, I'm sorry, the uh, chipset heatsink. And I have yet to install it. I've just been busy doing other stuff. So it's just an update, guys. Uh, lots more videos to come. I appreciate everybody uh, who watches and subscribes. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Update videos on a regular basis as much as I can tutorials, uh, question and answer, just general computer videos. I mean, for all you guys who watch my channel, you know that, but for anybody who's new, that's what you guys have to look forward to. So if you haven't, check back through my videos, check on my channel, and uh, please leave a comment and rate this video. Thanks a lot for watching.